Install the RSV bracket. Make sure that you have the correct recirculating splitter valve, or RSV, for the mode in which your system will operate. Mode 1 systems use an RSV installed in the riser at the tank's outlet end. Mode 3 systems use a duckbill RSV installed in the riser at the tank's inlet end. In a two-tank system, the RSV is usually placed at the inlet riser of the second tank. You can find more detailed information in the written RSV 3Q installation instructions supplied with your RSV. The RSV split flow T penetrates the riser. We recommend installing it through our standard flanged coupling, which is epoxied to the riser. However, you can also install it through a grommet. If you are using the flanged coupling, from the inside of the riser use a hole saw to drill a 4 inch hole. The center of the hole should be about 5 and a quarter inches from the bottom of the riser. This will typically center the hole on a rib. When you are done, wipe away the shavings. Apply a bead of SS-115 or similar methacrylate adhesive to the side of the flange that will face the riser and insert the coupling through the riser from the inside. It is easiest to do this while the riser is upside down, but make sure that the notch in the coupling faces the actual top of the riser. Press the flange firmly against the inside of the riser. Allow the adhesive to cure. You may need to hold the coupling steady while the adhesive is hardening. If so, Insert the short stainless steel screws that are supplied with the RSV into the small holes in the flange and drive them through the flange into the riser. The next step can be completed before or after the riser is installed on the tank. From the outside of the riser, insert the split flow T into the coupling so that the set screw in the top fits into the notch in the coupling. Apply all-purpose cement, such as IPS 790, to the part of the split flow T that protrudes into the riser and to the quick disconnect bracket. Place the quick disconnect bracket over the protruding part of the T, aligning the notch in the bracket with the divider in the T, and press it against the inside of the riser until it is fully seated. You can tap it with a rubber mallet if necessary. Be sure that the split flow T and bracket are plumb with the riser. If you're using the grommet method, the RSV assembly penetrates the riser through a three inch grommet. The split flow T mounts on the outside and the RSV cage and body are mounted on a quick disconnect fitting on the inside. The grommet hole is usually pre-drilled. If you need to cut the hole, refer to the written instructions for the RSV 3Q. Apply a bead of ADH100 adhesive to the grommet and insert it into the hole. Apply pipe lubricant to the split flow T and push it through the grommet from the outside. Wipe off the lubricant on the T so that pipe cement will adhere. Then apply cement to the protruding part of the split flow T as well as the inside of the hole in the quick disconnect bracket. Push the bracket onto the T. Make sure that the bracket is pushed squarely against the inside of the riser. Then, using the holes in the bracket as a guide, drill four holes in the riser. Place the nuts in the hexagonal recesses of the bracket. Push the bolts in from the outside through the rubber washers provided. Then drive the bolts through the nuts until their heads are flush with the outside of the riser. Instructions for assembling and installing the rest of the recirculating splitter valve are given in the main installation video.